Thanks for having me over. Yeah, not at all. I heard you had a really long day. Yeah. So, you're looking to wind down and relax for the evening. Mm -hmm. That's why I brought some things over to help you out. Yeah. It's like a little self-care ritual. Some of these things I personally do for my own routine. And I think it's really critical to do these activities, if possible, to help you calm your nervous system and relax. And making this into a routine before bed, maybe not everything, but some of the things can really help you feel that you're caring for yourself, which is really important because I care about you and I think that you deserve to rest, relax, and feel cared for. Okay. Well, without further ado, shall we get started? Okay. Before we jump into the items that I have here, I'd like to first help you feel a bit more comfortable. Okay. So, I see that you're already wearing somewhat comfy clothes, but I thought you might like this nice waffle robe. It's not too warm, and I find that it's still rather cozy, being a more say thinner fabric. Yeah, it's got like this waffle texture and I, I think it's also really great right out of the shower, you know. Helps you dry up a little too. So, I thought you would really like this. What do you think? a lovely robe. It's, uh, so, it's actually by the brand Happy Place, and it's made from 100% organic cotton. Yeah. So, it's truly breathable in most temperatures, and super comfortable. Yeah, here. Go ahead and try it out. Then I got you some slippers. are brand new. These are from Lemon and they're hand knit slippers. So this is what they look like. Keep your feet very warm, as I find her feet can be extra cold during this, you know, colder weather. Right. Alright, so, here you go. How are you feeling? Much cozier? That's good. Wonderful. Now, to help you feel that extra dose of sleepiness. I heard you were interested in trying out some supplements to, to help you feel naturally relaxed. So I have a couple of options for you. Yeah. So, of course, feel free to find products that you really love and work for you, but these are some of the things 
I personally like. So it's completely up to you. The first one is Ashwagandha. So this is just a general, you know, Walmart brand, which I find just as good, but teach their own. And their gummies, it helps relax, restore, unwind, and provides immune support. A lot of people find that this helps with stress. I would say if you're very anxious, it may not do the trick, but I do think it can be helpful. Then we have this option. Then, of course, you have the classic melatonin gummies. That's what we have here. These are wonderful. They really help you feel relaxed and ready for bed. And then the last item I might have shared with you before is CBD oil, which most brands work and um, are really great. So this one is just by Blue Mist and it's peppermint. I love peppermint. I think peppermint is super calming in its own way. So I think these options will help you feel more relaxed while we do our other items and routines tonight. Okay, and then to help you wash anything down, I have a glass of water for you. So, and if you need more water, I'm happy to provide you more. This would be helpful. Okay. Okay, so I'll make sure you, you know, have your pick. Let me know when you're ready for those. But uh, I think next we could jump into your skincare routine. Yeah. Have you um, washed your face yet? see you might have some makeup or you know the day is still there so I have a couple things I recommend for you to wash your face and then we can continue the skincare night routine okay right all right so the first item I usually like to do a double cleanse if I need to wipe off makeup or, you know, just feel that extra desire to get extra clean skin. We have the e.l.f. Skin Holy Hydration Cleansing Melting Balm. This is my absolute all you have to do is just take a little bit on the sp you know, little spoon. A little goes a long way. And then you just rub it on your skin dry, not with water. And it literally melts, and it's very gentle. I find that it doesn't burn my eyes at all, even if I have eye makeup on. And it's just absolutely... I've gone through a few of these myself, so I'm letting you borrow mine, and it's a fresh spoon for you, so yeah, it's super luxurious feeling, and feels like it hydrates my skin as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll leave this with you. And then, um, if you want to just follow it up with an actual gentle cleanser, I have a hydrating facial cleanser by CeraVe. This 
is just the uh, normal to dry skin moisture balance with three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. We want to make sure your skin is clean and fresh and hydrated, ready for other skin products. Okay, so here's the other cleanser for you. you need something to pull your hair back by chance for when you wash your face? Okay, I might have something for you. Let me grab it. Okay. I have a little basket here. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I think I might have gotten from Ikea or somewhere. A long time ago. But in here, I just have some hair clips and scrunchies. So. Yeah. That's what it looks like. So we have a couple of these fun flower clips. is a purple one. Then I have like a peach one. And it's super cute. It's, it's not too like huge, but it's really sturdy, I find. Yeah. Then I have this blue one. Instead, I have a like a nice big green scrunchie and this like silk pink one. Well, it's not real silk, but it's like a silk dupe. <laughs> but they're very soft, so they won't really tear or anything. I find the scrunchies are good for sleeping. So, what did you did you have a preference? your face. So, take your time. I'll be here. And we'll go ahead and do your skincare. Okay. I'll see you in a little bit. Welcome back. How was it? Refreshing. That's good to hear. a little bit, so now we have everything we need to do your skincare. And these are pretty much the products I like to use as well. So, yeah, they've definitely made me feel moisturized and refreshed. Um, not only in the evening, but when I wake up in the morning, my skin very is very moisturized. Well, now that you've washed your face, I think what we can start with first is some eyelash serum. So, I really love eyelash serum. I personally like Grande Lash. I know there's some, a couple others that are really great, but this one has been really efficient for me. It's a little pricey. Um, but Perhaps I'll find a more cheaper option, but it lasts for a while for me, and I don't do it almost every day, so sometimes I get an extension of time with it, <laughs> because I'm not using it maybe as consistently, but yeah, it comes in this little gold tube, and it's really neat, because all you do is apply it like eyeliner, like on the top of your eyelid 
eyelashes. <laughs> you don't need to put it on the bottom. I find that when you start blinking and the serum is still drying on your eye, you're not supposed to rub it in, by the way, um, that some of the serum can transfer to the bottom lashes and it kind of helps those grow a little too, but I don't think you really need super long lower lashes as that could be a little much. <laughs> Let me go ahead and apply some to you, okay? Yeah, I'll be very gentle. Just trying to get the brushes, bristles. All right. Close your eyes. Okay. Just gonna do that one, and then I'll go back in. really careful not to get it in my eye, not because it, you know, is burning or anything. I mean, it does cause a slight sensation. Obviously, don't put it in your eye. So, I think, though, more often than not, I don't end up getting it in my actual eye. It stays on my lashes and my lash line. <laughs> so, love that. And it's super great and noticeable after a couple weeks. I would say maybe two weeks max, but even sooner than that. Yeah. Okay, great. On the same vein of eyes, I'd love to apply an eye cream. You were interested in a retinol tonight. Okay. So this is the Olay Eyes Retinol 24. So I'm going to make sure to just apply this to your under eye not really getting it all over your skin, um, and we will make sure to concentrate it on your eye. So I'm gonna take a little bit, and yeah, you can close your eyes again, that's okay. There you go. Okay. And then on so my hand. I love doing that. I'll always take my excess skincare and wipe it on the backs of my hands because it's a little extra helpful. Helpful skincare. All right, well, don't forget to apply SPF tomorrow, really, to make sure you're protecting your skin when you're using something like retinol. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next you want to do any oils or serums. Um, so I have rosehip oil and I have a e.l.f. hydrating serum. I think you would only really need one of these tonight. Um, so is there a particular interest? You want to do the rosehip oil. Rosehip oil is super great on the skin. Not only hydrating, but very calming. I find that it evens out the texture a lot. This one is just by Sky Organics. You might have seen me use it before. Okay. So, oh, almost got that on the tray. All right. Let me go ahead and apply it. Focusing on massaging your skin, I find with your hands is just all you really need. I know we have all these tools, but I also think our hands are great tools too. And you can really get in the muscles that have tension and relax them, especially around the eyebrows, in between the eyes. the jawline and cheek muscles. Okay. 
How does that feel? Great. Okay. I'm just gonna once again wipe on the back of my hands. All right. So now that that's a little bit of a face massage, everyone needs that now and then. Next, we can do um, the moisturizer. And this has been one of my probably favorite moisturizers to have as of late. It's by La Roche-Posay Double Repair Face Moisturizer. It's been honestly a game changer. I actually use this at night because I was unsure of wanting it to try it in the daytime before I really tested it out. Sometimes moisturizers can be a little funny under makeup for me, so I like to stick with my CeraVe moisturizer, daily moisturizing lotion for the mornings because that really sinks into the skin and doesn't pill or anything. This one is great at night. It's super gentle for me, um, may not be for everyone. It does have uh, prebiotic thermal water, ceramide 3, niacinamide, and glycerin. Or glycerin. <laughs> glycerin. <laughs> this is what happens when you get fancy with words. You start pronouncing things wrong. <laughs> um, but honestly, I was a little nervous about the niacinamide because I've used that before and it did not do well with my skin. But for some reason in this moisturizer, it's been really great. Yeah. So if you'd like to try it tonight, I think it would be really great. And, uh, oh, you've tried it before, but you haven't bought it yet. Okay. Well, let's try it tonight and I'm sure it'll be very moisturizing. a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to get it on the face here. Okay. Yeah. How does that feel? Yeah, it's like another massage. <laughs> Feels good, huh? Yeah. It's been one of my favorite skincare routines to date. I feel like it's not a lot of products. We used maybe three products on your skin so far, and I mean, you could always add like an additional serum, but for me, I find that, you know, those three products really help, and of course, the lash serum is optional. Not always needed, but sometimes simple is really honestly the best. But there, I'm sure there's some nights and rituals where you might add on extra things and that's not, you know, a bad thing. Tonight we're just gonna keep it simple. Okay. Alright, so that's your skincare. Would we like to focus on the body slash hair? Before we jump into hair and body, here is some aquaphor for your lips, as it can be really moisturizing. There you go. <laughs> Feels good, right? I love aquaphor. It's just a wonderful product. I use it for so much moisturization, um, and it's just lovely especially during the colder months. All right, so as much as we like to moisturize our face, I think moisturizing our body is also very important. Mm -hmm. So, I have some lotion here. It's 
just Palmer's cocoa butter formula with vitamin E. So, if you want to go ahead and take some, rub it on your elbows, your arms. legs. Our skin really loves being moisturized. As much as hydration is also important, I think uh, lotions and oils help moisturize and keep the moisture in really well. Okay, all right, so I'll leave this off to the side for you to grab some, okay? are also wooden. So we have this wooden hairbrush. The bristles are also wooden. And it really distributes the oils on your hair well. It doesn't create static. And I just love this type of brush. So, we're gonna do a little massage slash hair brushing as it also stimulates, you know, your scalp and keeps it um, massaged as well, which is always great to promote hair growth. So, just go ahead and brush not trying to kind of run the brush through and down to the sides by the temples how does that feel? feels good yeah. and I also have the comb version as well So this can also be really great and stimulating. And of course, it gives like a little head massage. Yes. Try it out. Being very gentle. How does that feel? Nice. Okay. Yeah. Just want to give you a nice tingly feeling on the scalp. I do have this Ordinary Multi-Peptide Serum for hair density So I'll just go ahead and apply Apply a couple drops around the hairline Just kind of keeps the hair strong to grow Okay gentle circular motions just to get it really in there. Okay. Okay. You're getting all the massages today. <laughs> Never a bad thing. Okay. All right. Well now, the rest 
rest of the evening is really sort of up to you and how you want to relax. I have um, another item here. Just like an eye mask. So if you want to like cool your eyes down, listen to some music or calming sounds to rest before bed. This will definitely feel cool. It's like little gel, jelly beads that get cold in the fridge. Although this is a great morning option too. For you to use whenever you like. Okay. And finally, I have a couple of um, book options as well. I brought over some books that I thought you might like to read before bed. Yeah. Let me move some of these items to show you. some books that I know you had mentioned you might be interested in reading. So, I have a couple options. <laughs> the first one's kind of, uh, maybe not relaxing, but maybe in its own weird way. It's the Silent Patient book. I still have yet to read mine. <laughs> but it is somewhat, I know, already a thriller. So, if you're interested in being captivated um, by a book, this might be great. Um, I believe it's about a therapist who... So it says, criminal psychotherapist Theo Faber is captivated by Alicia or Alicia. I'm not really sure which one. And Alicia has, you know, done a crime, essentially. So it's a very interesting, like, therapist and uh, criminal <laughs> dynamic. So yes, not very relaxing if you're not into this, but I love to have options, you know. That is one particular genre to consider. The rest, however, are more lighthearted and romantic. <laughs> I love romance myself. So, we have Book Lovers, this is by, this is by oh, Emily Henry, it's literally right there. Another book I still have yet to read, it's just been harder for me to read lately, so I can completely relate, but hopefully one of these stories captivates you enough to hopefully finish reading. Book Lovers. Book Lovers is about a girl. She's a laid-back dream girl. Wait. <laughs> it says here, Nora Stevens' life is books. She's read them all, and she's not that type of heroine. Not the plucky one, not the laid-back dream girl, and especially not the sweetheart. In fact, the only people Nora is a heroine for all her clients, for whom she lands enormous deals as a cutthroat literary and her beloved little sister, Libby. So it goes on to say that she finds herself in a town. It's called Sunshine Falls. <laughs> Very uh, bookish. Um, and she keeps bumping into a brooding editor named Charlie. So it sounds quite uh, interesting and perhaps funny. be interesting for you to read 
and again lighthearted. Next we have the Love Hypothesis. This is a great book. I've actually read this. It's super funny and quirky in its own weird little way. Um, it's like it's definitely a love story that like wouldn't typically happen, but it's super funny um, in like I said its own unique way, a little steamy. Um, and I think in particular because this character, the guy, the love interest is sort of loosely maybe not so loosely, based off of Adam Driver and his Kylo Ren character. Maybe it's the best part about this book, honestly. I, I love it. I found it really charming and interesting, and I liked the characters in general, so. Yeah. Definitely. story. I love romance, what can I say? I also like funny romance too. I just think it's... I love when I get to laugh at a line in a book. So this is called A Spanish Love Deception. Some things about this book were interesting, but most, of, like pretty much, I, lo I liked the book. I couldn't put it down. I loved the character dynamic. It was good. It was a good, like, I would watch the movie version of this, and I hope they do make a movie version one day, because I think it would be really great. I think it's kind of like a great setup for a rom-com. But it's super great. I love it. Sort of a chunky one. How many pages? I think it's like almost like 460 pages. Definitely recommend this one as well. And finally, this is one I haven't read yet, but it's by the same author, Ali Hazelwood, who wrote The Love Hypothesis, Love on the Brain. And I'm assuming it's somewhat on the same type of love story vein. Um, but yeah, I think... like a lovely pink color. Love it. I actually do like the artwork. Sometimes the artwork can be a little interesting. But... Okay, so here are all the books for you to peruse. Pick a couple you want to read through, maybe or cycle through some, or cycle through whichever ones you're feeling in. I wanted to end our time together with just some cards to pull. Nothing super crazy, just one from each deck. And then I can read the descriptions to you and you can kind of take what you feel resonates. What do you think? Okay, great. So, like I said, I'm just going to take one from each deck. So, I think... I'm going to just go ahead and pull them. This is the Moonology Oracle cards. It's got like a moon. So these are based off of the moon phases. And I always, I always have been captivated by the moon. As, you know, both actual the moon and then the symbolism. Although I was intrigued to realize that the moon in, I think is it tarot, or in general, is often um, associated with like sphere change or something like that. Like big transition, sometimes not so like positive, or I guess like it's more challenging of a transition versus like a happy transition. Don't quote me on that, but we'll go ahead and pick a card from this deck. I really just wanted to have this time with you, help you feel 
cared for and hopefully walk away with some words of encouragement no matter where you are. work is just so lovely. says, I'm sorry. Oh, defenselessness. Writing past wrongs. Uprooting. Oh my. Uprooting more than likely ties in with a new start, I'm assuming. This is actually like the standard looking deck. associated with newness and so forth, I think, but let's dive into the description of the moonology one. New moon, a start, is a new start is coming. Okay, so let me find it. New moon, it's quite literally one of the first A new start is coming, new moon. There is a yes coming your way. This is one of the most auspicious cards in the deck. It's totally positive and suggests something new and exciting is developing. The situation you're asking about is blessed and you are on target to achieve your goals. The message from the universe is that you're starting all over again in some way. Be that on a new or better course, or just feeling more positive about achieving your desired outcome. If you've been feeling stagnant, this card reminds you that life goes in cycles and you're moving into a new cycle now. This is the time to wipe the slate clean. If the situation you asked about has become toxic, either that will clear up now or something totally new and fresh is on its way. So additional meanings include a new start is on its way, 
you will soon start to feel more hopeful about getting what you want. Your belief that your dreams can manifest is working well. Forget about the past. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. The new moon marks the start of the waxing cycle and the midpoint of the dark moon. It's a dark and veiled time when the moon is invisible and time of rebirth. It's a time that witches do their work, making wishes and laying down intentions for the new cycle. An intensely magical time when it's easier to pierce the veil to other worlds. So, perhaps you could take what resonated from that. I love that it had a positive tone about beginnings, new starts. Sometimes I think when we're older, life feels so repetitive that you almost aren't aware of when things begin until you're sort of like doing the things that you've already sort of started, I guess. Unless you have a life change, life event happen, usually it's hard to feel like much can start anew. Like in school, every year was a new grade or when you got your first job, or your first relationship. We're all going through various cycles in different ways, positive and negative ones. But I do hope whatever cycle you enter soon or are in, that there is something to be grateful or, you know, positively received. <laughs> and if it's hard, then, you know, completely understand that. And hopefully there are ways you can find new beginnings in those hard moments. I think the best advice I have had, I guess, learned, but like is now advice I give to myself, if that makes sense, is when I have a really bad day, and sometimes I'll have bad days on the weekend when I'm off of work, you know, the day that I have completely to myself, my freedom, and I get so mad at myself if I feel super anxious or the day doesn't go the way I wanted it to, because it's such a precious time that I feel I've lost, you know? I remind myself that I get to wake up and start over. Like, every day can actually literally be a new beginning. And sometimes you just gotta sleep off the anxiety <laughs> and the fear. Um, and sometimes bad days literally follow one after another, but that saying, you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, is just so accurate sometimes. So I like to think of it also that you can wake up and wake up on a good side, or even just start a new day in the middle of your day. If it's the afternoon and you had a bad morning, you can decide, you know what, I'm going to do whatever I can to make it a better day within the realm of control that I have. <laughs> and not everything's in our control, of course, but that's how I like to sometimes approach those things. Okay, enough about that. The next card is I'm Sorry, Defenselessness, Writing Past Wrongs, I feel like there's a couple meanings in there. Maybe we'll see a bit more about what that means in the description. Okay, it says, I'm sorry, 78. says, we're living in divisive times when we're hurt and triggered, we tend to see things as a personal attack rather than an opportunity for healing. If we're to find true peace and unity, we need to drop our defenses and see things outside of right and wrong. As souls, we intrinsically remember unity and yearn for it here on earth. Perhaps this is why it feels so painful when we experience the opposite. But it's crucial to remember that we can't simply bypass reality and pretend that unity, love, and forgiveness are here. This is one of the greatest challenges for starseeds. 
To bring about unity, we must first acknowledge the ways in which both we and the world have been divisive, personally, ancestrally, and collectively, the shadows, hate, wounds, separation, suffering, wrongs, and sadness. You may be called to explore how you, your ancestors, or your society have consciously or unconsciously inflicted pain on others, to find a way to drop the armor around your heart and see things as they truly are for all people. To say, I'm sorry, with an open heart, and mean it. To be part of the healing rather than the perpetuation of inherited conflict or oppression. This isn't about blame, it's about unwinding the patterning that got us here. You may be called to devote your time to causes you believe in or do healing work on your ancestral line. Wow. That wasn't, uh, what I thought it would be. But I do like that take. I think maybe part of starting a new start is facing the beliefs you hold that a lot of the time culture really inflicts on you or um, just from what you've grown up with and learned patterns that maybe weren't the healthiest and Sometimes just kind of unwinding those things, uprooting them, seeing them for what they are, starting fresh, and healing. Oh man, there's so many times I've looked on my past and thought, gosh, why? Why did I act that way? Or why did I believe that? And it's honestly very cringy. <laughs> but I'm so proud that I get to continue to grow and become a more compassionate and loving person every day because that's really who I want to be at the end of it is someone who is empathetic and understanding and impacting the world around me in a positive way I think ASMR for example is a way that I get to do that to be a positive impact on others in this very unique creative way is actually very fulfilling. So yeah, thank you for allowing me to do that. <laughs> and uh, hopefully there is something in this you could pull from. The Fool. All right. Let's look at The Fool. This one doesn't have numbers, so I kind of know. The Fool is literally the first so the fool, the meaning is the fool represents a leap of faith, which is the beginning and ending of the major arcana journey we all take through life. We are the fool. The fool archetype is about curiosity and open-mindedness, going with the flow of life and managing our way through the unknown. Um, so the meaning is it's optimism, a journey without... A destination, a new beginning, curiosity, and potential. Wow. So, I think these three cards really do well with each other. You know, you have a reminder that a new start is coming, if not already there. Then you have, um... The sense of uprooting and healing your inner wounds or inner, um, I guess, that tug and pull between things that used to be and now aren't, or maybe you're changing your mind about something and you want to live a different way than you've been, you know, I feel like one example is like so often, you know, at least for my generation, I'm a I'd say I'm like a younger millennial. You know, it was all about going to college and you get a good job and you get the house and the kids and all that stuff. And it really is a different world now. And it's, I think some of those things are attainable for different people in different ways, but it's just so different. And there are so many more opportunities in the world that can be considered. And sort of non-typical to what society sort of standardizes as the 
you know, milestones you're supposed to be reaching. And I think it's about uprooting those beliefs and ideals and creating your own milestones, right? Creating your own sense of wonder and goals, creating your own path in the world that doesn't look like everybody else's. Um, and then the fool is really like you're really starting out fresh again and that can be scary. Sometimes you might feel like you don't have as much confidence because you're unsure of dynamics or new situations or people. But I think you're still the same person at the end of the day. Like you're still the same strong, creative, wondrous person. You're still the human being you've always been in a lot of ways, the good parts, right? The, the strong parts, the parts that have endured and grown. That's you all along. And you can still learn so much more which is what I think the fool is saying. <laughs> Nothing to be scared about. Well, I hope that was insightful. <laughs> um, I truly am honored to have spent this time with you. I know that um, it's important for you to relax before your bedtime. Thank you so much for having me over. I look forward to spending time with you again, but I'll leave you tonight, and I hope that the rest of your evening is truly relaxing. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'll go ahead and clear up my stuff, and then you have a wonderful evening and I'll see you soon.